it's not exactly a dry robe, so, you know, dry robe. If you want, discount, I don't know. Come on, dry robe, help me out. It's like take 87 of this now. <laughs> Just wanted to give a quick introduction if you're new to the channel. If you're new to the channel, how's it going? My name's Ads. I've been converting a transit van for the last nearly a year into something I could live in. The reason I did that is at the end of 2020 made some pretty big life decisions. Won't bore you with it all. Needless to say, I don't drink anymore. I turned 40 in 2021, January 2021, and life genuinely did begin for me then. Life genuinely does begin at 40. I took a year out of doing something that I just got into. I'd only been doing this new thing for a year. But in converting the van, I wanted to take the time to just concentrate on the van, so I've done that. Now I'm in a position where I could do that thing again. And I can't wait. There's a whole other uh, channel for it, so I'll put details and all the bits and pieces. You don't want to, unless you do want to know more about it on this channel, just let me know in the comments. So I'm going to get on with it now. I'm going to get a coffee or something, maybe have some breakfast and get myself sorted. Jet's with me today. She's just sorting herself out. We'll have a little look around this beautiful town of Coverack. We'll have a little tour about and I'll show you the views. I'll try to get some sunrise on time lapse well i'm not sure it's a bit cloudy so i'm not sure but i'll put it in we'll see we'll see what it looked like so i'm going to get myself sorted now and uh fill you in on a little bit more of what's going to happen throughout the day but i'm absolutely buzzing for it so see you in a bit love you bye any fish not even any grass or anything I was only in a couple hours I got to be honest my feet are shot to pieces you probably can't hear this actually that's spear fishing well that's not spear fishing that's snorkeling armed um I started spear fishing at the end of 2020 I bought some kit and I was in the sea on the 28th of December 2020 floating around with the worst hangover I've ever had. And I made a decision then, I either carry on on the path I was on, or I pull my head out my ass, and I try something new. And I always wanted to take spear fishing a bit more seriously, and I thought I'd either go down the spear fishing road, or I could can continue drinking. So I made a decision that day to give up drink for a month. My 40th birthday was coming. Instead of getting drunk for my 40th, we'll mix it up a bit and I'll stay sober. So I planned to stay sober for a month. That rolled into two, and yeah that day changed everything and it's led me to this 
And now I do more stuff, I get out, I see things, I have a way more fulfilled life. Now I'm not preaching in any way. If you're happy drinking, more power to you. It just was not the direction that my life was supposed to have been going in. So spearfishing changed everything and now I live in a van <laughs> and I've never been happier. As you saw from the video, it's, it's just a lot of splashing around for me. I'm, I, I was only doing it for a year. If you do want to see any more of the spearfishing stuff, I'll leave a link to, like I said, to my other spear to the spearfishing channel. It's called Zero to Spearo and it's basically documenting my attempts at learning how to spearfish. I'm going to keep that channel going because I've obviously still got a fair bit of learning to do. But there's just something really cool about being in the sea and living in Cornwall, having a van. It's just, it's just so much more accessible. So, yeah, cheers for that. But anyway, let's go and have a look around Coverack because it's stunning here. Coverack is a small fishing village halfway between Falmouth and the Lizard on the south coast of Cornwall. It's a lovely little village, very, very quaint. But in 2017, something terrible happened and some freak weather caused a flood to rip down through the village, tearing through houses, ruining properties and half tearing down the seawall. But over time, with the help of the local authorities and with a community that just seemed to band together just to get themselves out of it and build themselves back up again, they've turned it back into a prosperous little village that's definitely worth a visit if you're ever in Cornwall. It's been a while since I've been rock pooling. Tide's on its way out, but I'll see what I can see. Just got myself in a monster here. Oh, you can see some uh, anemones down there. Can't get over there, I don't think you can see that. Oh, there's one. Just there. Try and get out the light. Some dog whelks. Loads of limpets, obviously. I don't know if it's a good bit of information if you live in a van and you're down by the coast. I don't think that there are any species of seaweed in the UK that you can't eat. I think some of them aren't probably very delicious, but I'm pretty sure that none of them are poisonous. So if you ever get stuck in an apocalyptic zombie situation and you're down by the sea, Whip off a bit of seaweed, it's very good for you, very, very nutri nutritional, high in all sorts of minerals, obviously. But yeah, I think this is bladder rack. I think you get these little floaty bits on it. So I'm pretty sure it's bladder rack, but I'll find out. Yeah, see what we can see. See, this probably isn't very interesting for people, but. This orange stone was actually a house brick. There's a few of them here, actually. There's another one there. But yeah, the house bricks that have been rolled around in the tide so much, they've got rounded off and turned into pebbles, basically. That's a better representation of what I was talking about. Look, it's knuckle duster here. It's cool, isn't it? I think it is, anyway. You probably don't, but I, I do. I do. Believe it or not, that's an oyster not the restaurant quality type oyster that some people are used to but oyster nonetheless bring it on there found a scallop shell as well but no bloody scallop in it okay so just when i thought i couldn't squeeze another hobby into this video we've gone for a walk in coverack it's actually getting the tide's going out a bit and there's a fair bit of sand so we figured we'd try something else out as well while we're here something i've had in a box for ages and been quite keen to use so bear with me and i'll show you there's a clue there's another clue if you know you know when i say it's still in the box it's literally still in the box 
This is in no way sponsored or anything like that, so don't be phoning up trades to script or whatever, whatever it is. Nobody sponsored me for this. I had a little bit of a win on a lottery ticket not very long ago. Well, it was quite long ago, actually. It was a few months ago. It was quite a little result. Um, nothing major, not life-changing, obviously. But I thought, while I got a little bit of expendable cash, I'll buy something I've wanted, but not really wanted to fork out for. So I went for this, didn't I? Oh, by the way, if you're not following Mel's uh, Big Van Small World, I'll put a link to his as well, because Mel's brilliant, and um, he does a lot of metal detecting, and it was literally watching him metal detecting in Cornwall made me go, I'll try that. So here we go, let's have a look. So this is a Vanquish 440. It comes in, I think it's a 340, 440, and 540. I went for the middle of the road one, because it's got stuff, does things. This, my particular one came with this free, little pokey about the thing like I said this is all still in the box it's not brand spanking new so I got this this is for prodding about with stuff finds box pretty good well, that's a little holder for me batteries so there's no excuse I can just get on with it some paperwork never taken out of the box mind map headphones look at that literally ready to go and I the weapon itself so I do believe it's quite easy to put together from what I understand. It's an arm bit, I think it's called an arm bit. Tiny little screw, I'm sure that'll become apparent. It's a coil. Oh, and a little cover. There's the brains of the whole affair. Now, I can't give you details on this. There are lots of YouTube videos that will explain how it all works. But one of the things that this does is you can put it on to find cool stuff and it tells you when it's cool stuff or when it's junk. So one of the reasons I got this one. It's been something I've wanted to do for a long time. I'm always up for poking around in amongst it all just to see what you can see. So my guess would be, it doesn't seem that long, does it? I think it's called a discriminator or something. Oh yeah, 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 I'm with you. goes in there like that so we've got this thing hoping that extends out otherwise I'm missing a pole somewhere because that does not seem very long so let's have a little look here got, oh there's there it's right there it's literally sat behind me there it is <laughs> were you a bit worried then I was a bit worried. I was going to say, that will teach you to leave in something in the box. It? <laughs> it's been in the box for how many months? I think about six months. Yeah, it's been in the box for a long, long time. So you can adjust the height. He goes in there, winging it, by the way. Buy one and you've lost the instructions. Wing it. I haven't lost the instructions, everything's still there, but... When you get to a certain age like me, I tend to not be worried about walking around with a metal detector anymore. <laughs> it's whether or not Jet's willing to be seen with with me now. <laughs> Metal detectors are cool. They just are. They're just really cool. Do you reckon that's meant to be that way around or the other way around? Do you know what I mean? Is it like that or is it the other way? Yeah, you're right. Forwards and backwards, isn't it? Ah, itchy head. Yeah, so you're probably not going to get much um, use out of me with this. Anything interesting. But it pops on there. Look at that. Ready to rock. Look at this. Huh? We're on it. Best put some batteries in it. That'll probably help. You can get a power pack that fits in there that replaces the batteries. But because this is something I've never done before, I didn't want to spend the like 30, 40 extra quid or whatever it was until I knew it was something that I was into. Quite excited actually. I'd never. This was this was not planned, by the way. This was not part of the part of the original remit. We were just supposed to come here, do some spear fishing, have a look round the beautiful town of Coverack, and uh, that was that. And here we are, out now, getting cooler by the day, getting more and more trendy. All the kids are jealous. You can see us down on the beach now. I'm going to be like, whoa, they got that. Look at how cool they are. You keep your Lamborghini. Switch them on. Well, apparently there's loads of metal in the van. 
apparently there's loads of it. Get some good readings there. What we want to do is get out of the van and go and try it somewhere else. Right, so let's go down the beach and see what we can find. Okay, so I made my first discovery. Not sure how much of a landmark it's going to be and whether or not they need to get Tony Robinson and the time team out here. Found a little shard of metal. But I found it. That's the main thing. So I'm doing something right because I'm finding things that are metal. I am detecting metal. Yeah. Got really excited because there was a really pretty half decent signal got loads of numbers not really sure what they all mean at the minute but definitely read something found a massive stone turns out massive iron bar through the middle of it didn't need to dig that up <laughs> cover act cover act got cold didn't find anything on the beach found this this is this is all i'm gonna keep this it's the first thing i found with my metal detector and i'm proud of it it's a little tiny piece of metal. I don't know what it is or what it's for, but if I found it. So I'm chuffed with that. There's a lady on the beach who said um, she'd lost a platinum earring, so I decided to try and have a look for that. Obviously didn't find it. Dug a massive hole, and the, the, more, the more of a hole I dug, the more it beeped and flashed at me. So I think it's going to take some getting used to. It's not as easy as just waving it around. Oh, it might be lead. It's quite movable. So I found some lead. <coughs> but no, Cover Act's a beautiful place. One of the things we wanted to do on this channel was to meet interested people as well. And we did meet one. I'm going to go see if I can say hello. I'm going to drop you in it now. This is Lily. Hi. I'll put Lily's Instagram everywhere. Go and check it out. She's got some pretty smart pictures. We're having a look at your pictures down the beach, actually. Yeah. Lily lives full time in her van while she's at uni, which is both ballsy, brave and pretty cool to be fair so it's been a pleasure meeting you it's lily we've got friends now we're making friends we're making van friends so we said goodbye to lily packed up the van and head out of cover rack um i was quite happy with what had been achieved i might not have shot any fish and i might not have dug up any life-changing coinage or anything special but it's not really about that is it it's about getting out and enjoying yourself and cover rack was a really good place to do that very chilled out very quiet Apparently it gets really busy in the summer, so if you are down this way, I'd probably recommend it during the off-season. It was a beautiful place, the people were great, and yeah, what more could I say? I had a great time, Jet had a great time, it was lovely meeting Lily, and we did what we set out to do, enjoy ourselves. So, I think we can all agree, mission accomplished on that one. This is Goon Hilly Earth Station. I've just come here to sign this video off. We were driving past, so I thought I'd stop here. Um, thanks very much for watching this video. It's probably a bit boring for some of you, but I've got to be honest, I've really been looking forward to doing it, and we did have a great weekend. It's been really nice to find somewhere new, which is the whole point of the van. The spear fishing thing, you'll get to know, I'm not that good at spear fishing, but I'm very, very passionate about it. Spear fishing for me, not only did it change my life, it's, it's the most, um, sustainable form of fishing if you haven't shot it you won't eat it if you've if you've caught it you've meant to catch it there's no even with a rod and reel you can you can catch the wrong fish anything could go wrong but with spear fishing if you see the fish you want and then you you take that fish and for me that's that's a beautiful thing i know it's not for everyone but i can't please everyone the metal detecting obviously massive damp squib for most people but i enjoy myself poking about actually yeah i think that's going to be quite a good addition to the channel as well and to my life in general i quite enjoyed it so um from myself and from jet who's taking photos of this massive saucepan thanks very much for joining us like i said and come back for some more like and subscribe if you haven't um massive love to cover rack if you ever are down come and have a look at that place and spend some money there they got a lot of rebuilding to do as you probably saw it's a very sad thing that happened but what a community what a great community um everybody's really happy they were happy to see us i had one guy pull up just quickly before i go there's one guy pull up he was 82 years old he's lived there his entire life and he couldn't have been nicer he even said to me his parting shot was make sure you come back and visit us again and i thought that was a really nice thing to say but yeah 
So thanks for having us, Coverack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, I've done that bit. See you later. Love you, bye.